It's the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, July 20th. I'm James Spann. All the summer elements are there this week. Sun, heat, and storms. Let's check it out. Heat ridge across the deep south again this morning. Got some active convection on the north of the heat ridge through parts of Kansas and Missouri and southern Illinois. We're starting off the day in the 70s, Birmingham at 77. Upper 90s a good possibility today. Over the weekend, Birmingham hit 98 on Saturday. That is the hottest we've seen so far this summer. We'll be pretty close to that today. And accordingly, again, heat advisories for much of the Deep South. Interesting that Dothan is not in a heat advisory. Everybody else is. Trust me, if you live in Dothan and Geneva and Ozark, it's going to be hot as a firecracker down there, too. It's just a different criteria, I guess, from the Weather Service in Tallahassee that covers that part of the state. Uh, north of here, risks for severe weather, basically from I-40 north in Tennessee, a slight risk for parts of Missouri and some of the adjacent states along a surface boundary. Tomorrow, marginal risks north and west of our state. And on day three, Wednesday, no formal risks defined anywhere in the country. All that green there, those are just routine thunderstorms expected. Hey, numbers are coming up on the QPF here. This is the expected rain through Saturday morning. The uh, bullseye's up around Fort Payne. How about 2.5 inches? And we all know it's almost impossible to draw these in summer. I mean, some spots might pick up two inches from one passing storm. And every day storms form in different places. But clearly, there should be an increase in convection this week across the state with heat levels coming down. The Atlantic Basin just having a hard time getting fired up this year because of dry air. It's a typical El Nino pattern. All the action's been over in the Pacific. All right, model fans, here we go. The GFS, this is the 06C run, valid today at noon. You can see the uh, main jet stream dynamics north of here. We've got ridging, the center of the heat ridge centered a little west of here, but still, it's going to be pretty hot today. Uh, the NAM and the GFS are both at 97 for Birmingham. Here's a high-res uh, HRRR, and uh, this is valid today at, uh, let's see, 23Z. That's 6 o'clock this evening, and you could see scattered storms, and nobody knows where they form. They will be totally random, but like recent days where they pop up, they could produce some heavy rain for a brief time and a lot of lightning. That's always the most dangerous element of these summer storms. I'll check the HRRR temperatures, and they're too hot. Uh, it's got Tuscaloosa at 104 Birmingham at 99. And trust me, it'll be hot today, but not quite that bad. Tuscaloosa might see 100 today, but don't think you do 104. That's a little excessive, too high. Tomorrow, the ridge should be a little weaker, and the uh, coverage of the storm should increase a bit. These synoptic scale maps won't help you very much. You really need to look at temperatures at 500 millibars to really determine what's going on here. But clearly, uh, you know, mid-90s, a little better chance of a storm. And the same thing through midweek. This is Wednesday. In fact, the uh, the OZ GFS had us at 88 on Wednesday, and it's spitting out an 80% probability of precipitation. That sounds a little too aggressive. We'll expect low 90s on Wednesday with scattered showers and storms. This is Thursday. This is the upper level, and this is where the story is being told. Pretty high amplitude look for the nation. Troughing on the west coast, ridging in the middle, troughing in the northeast. And uh, with a heat ridge to the west, again, we'll expect uh, scattered showers and storms with low 90s. Same thing on Friday. And this is uh, Saturday as the weekend begins. The height's coming up again, so showers might thin out slightly. But understand, changes are very hard to define in a summer pattern days in advance. And you really don't see them on the synoptic scale. They're more on the mesoscale. I will expect mid-90s and the same thing on Sunday. That looks dry, but still, no doubt, we'll see scattered afternoon storms about. Week from today, Monday, the 594 heat ring well to the west. We're kind of on the periphery of that. we got this northwest flow aloft here, and understand that opens the door for bands of convection that might move in from the northwest. And sometimes you might even see some morning storms in a pattern like that. But And again, that looks dry, but clearly we'll need to mention the chance of showers and storms Monday with low to mid-90s. Very typical late July weather. This is the end of the forecast toward the middle of next week, Wednesday the 29th. Look at the 597 ring setting up over the southwest. Boy, Phoenix will be cooking in Las Vegas with that. Again, typical summer weather, partly sunny, scattered showers and storms. Here's a look at the numbers coming off the ensembles, and even this one drops us to 89 on Wednesday. And then it ramps us back up with maybe mid to upper 90s, and then it comes back down toward the first few days of August. 
but the bottom line is those numbers not too far from average for this time of the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.